Hello everyone and welcome to UFTA, the organic farm strategy game by me, Darren Walters. This would be considered, at least in, an, in, in the industry, it would be considered a tabletop game and uh, it fits into the category of American specialty. Uh, the first component I want to show you is uh, the hunger tokens. These little uh, yellow tokens here are <coughs> representative of what you should be trying to accomplish during the game. The goal of the game is to feed hungry people and the way we do that is by collecting these tokens. There's four different denominations and it says thank you on one side and I'm hungry on the other. So, uh, those are the hunger tokens, ones, fives, tens, and twenties. Over here, we have the adversity cards. So these are all based on real life, and these are random things that just happen on farms. So here's an example, high winds, uh, return to cover crops to unharrowed status, which is something I'll explain in a few minutes. So basically, these are things, bad things that happen and uh, it's your job as a grower to overcome these things. So over here we have the farmers market and in the farmers market we have 12 different crops. Uh, they're all listed here. I know it's probably hard to see on the screen but I'll just run through them really quickly. Uh, the 12 different crops in Ufta are chard, corn, spinach, radishes, broccoli, kale, cucumbers, squash, carrots, potatoes, beans, and peas. There's 72 of these different crops available. 12 of them are represented here in the farmer's market. And then the other 60 are in this draw bag. Tractor storage. Every grower in the game has a tractor to begin with. I don't know if you can see these. So these aren't something you have to pay for up front. These are a, a given. But last but not least, we have the resource shop which includes three different types of equipment. Industrial at the top, which is heavy duty, high grade. Beneficial, which is uh, middle level. And essential, meaning these items are absolutely crucial for farming. You can't really do anything in Hoofta without at some point having these in your, on your farm. So that takes care of components that are on the board game itself. Components that are not on the board include the fields. There's four different field types, and they have a front and a back. So we have brown representing sort of the virgin field that hasn't been farmed yet, and it says uncovered, or I'm sorry, unharrowed cover crop field. So the first thing you would do, at least in Ufta, is you begin with these virgin fields. You don't know what they are, so they're they're uh, covered up. So it's sort of a random thing at the beginning. Everyone uh, is not sure what field has what potential crop to grow on it. And the first step you would do, of course, is since you have a tractor, like so, you would go ahead and hook up the disc and disc in uh, the cover crops. So they're not listed here. The cover crops aren't listed. They're just anonymous. But when you turn them over, you'll see that it says, for instance, harrowed cover crop, vetch and rye, will grow beans, corn, and radishes. So uh, that covers the one component that's not on the, uh, on the board itself. The other component is something called the weight queue, which is basically just crops that are drawn from the draw bag. Again, the remaining uh, 60 crops come from here. They're drawn at the beginning randomly, depending on how, how many growers or players you have. These will be distributed to everyone in rounds, and each grower is going to get five crops to begin with. Okay, this is the weight queue. So you begin the game with five crops, and you will have four fields that are not turned over. The other component that is off the board, and I think it's the last one, is the explanatory card. This is a very handy card to have with you in case you get a little bit lost because Ufta is not completely straightforward, so you do need a little bit of help. Hopefully at the top you can see it says Earn Hunger Tokens by First, harrowing cover crops with the disc Then planting the crops with the cedar 
cultivating the crops with the cultivator and finally harvesting crops with the harvester. Again, these are the things that you absolutely have to do in Ufta in order to earn the hunger tokens. And those four activities correspond to the four items that are in the essential uh, equipment category. Uh, that's how that works. Now, that explains all the different components of the game. Of course, there's a dice. That takes care of that. Part one is over.